Radio Stews Nation, coming at you live. Here we go. Time to end this suffering. I need a minute to myself. So I can You will never get to me. What can be done? I do myself. YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Whip. Radio Stews Nation coming at you live from the basement. I've been trying to do this video like 17 times, but my phone was acting like a piece of shit. Anyway, and I lost the charger to my laptop. So I was trying to convert to laptop so I could do these quicker, get some more content to you guys, but that's alright. I'll figure something out. Anyway. That's besides the point. Whip Dog is back. And uh, I just wanted to say shout out to CCSIZ. It's Charlie Charlie Sierra Indigo Zebra. Check him out on YouTube. And we got uh, Kathy Dixon, K A T H Y D I X O N in parentheses is Match Pets. Um, check her out uh on facebook if your animal is lost she'll find it for you so it's pretty cool like if she like if you lose your animal and you don't know where it's at dog cat something like that hit her up on facebook see if she can find it for you because she does it all around the country right from her house it's pretty fucking cool so anyway let's not get into all that right now what i want to get into is uh a recap of last week now uh, well, Rumble, let's start with Rumble. Rumble retired, and uh, and I just wanted to, to sincerely thank Rumble. I mean, I doubt I'll ever watch this, but Rumble Rumble was a very impressive fighter. I enjoyed watching him uh, uh, ever since his days of welterweight, knocking out Charlie Brenham, and, and, and um, you know, it's it's crazy to uh, to have seen him rise, and, and, you know, and the way that he departed was, was quite impressive. Um, you know, I like the fact that, that he got his own thing and was like, look, this is better. I'm out. You know what I mean? So congratulations, Rumble. Um, you know, you might have gone out on a loss, but there's no better way to go out than the way that you did. So congratulations and, and thank you. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, what I really wanted to talk to about last week was this controversial knee stoppage from Gegard Mousasi. And now people are saying it's not, you know, the commission's fault. It's not Dan's fault. Everybody's inexperienced. Dan Mergliata's the ref uh, that I was speaking of. And 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 I don't think it's none of their fault neither. Um, this is the way that I viewed this. So there's a rule. There was a rule. There is a rule, kind of a rule. It's, it's, a, it's a tricky rule. Um, MMA is a tricky sport. There's a lot of different things that can happen. But... Uh, the, the the rule is that if your hands are down, you're you're down. Like if you have both hands down on the mat, or even it was even one hand down on the mat, then you're a downed fighter, and you can't get kneed or kicked in the face. Now this is UFC and Pride. It was realistic as fuck, dude. You get thrown on the ground, kicked in the face. That's it. they will fucking kick you in the face, and that's realistic because you know. I, I, you know, I'm from a spot where you used to have to scrap it out growing up, and sometimes you get tossed on the ground, you might get kicked in the face, or somebody might just establish their dominance and, and, you know, righteously claim victory, and they're like, yeah, you see that, bitch? And you're like, you look up at them, and you're like, yes, or you, you know, choose to be like, fuck you, and then they just end your shit, and you, you know. You don't want to get ended like that, so you might as well just say, oh, all right, you got that one, you know what I'm saying? But in in you know in regulated sport and things like that, they you know they had to kind of kind of like you know make it a little more safe. And uh, I, you know I don't necessarily agree with that. I think if you get in, you know if you if you're willing to get in a scrap with someone, you should be willing to deal with everything that comes with it. But that's okay because it's still pretty damn close. Now that they fixed the rule, what they did was they said you had to have both hands down rather than just one. And the reason that they did this is because fighters 
like Chris Weidman last week while going for his dumbass takedowns that he does. He's a he's a wrestler and all this, you know, and he is a good wrestler, but he's prone to getting need in the face, okay? And I don't give a shit, you're a wrestler. And I'm surprised I'm surprised Anderson didn't honestly catch him with some brutal fucking knees. Cause yeah, I mean the guy will take you down, but he gets kneed in the face. Like it's happened two fights in a row now, and I've seen it before too. Like, you know, it's it's he has a high wide guard with his hands and he just stumbles in. I just uh I don't, I don't like why, but I never did. I didn't think that he had this, uh, you know, that, that any significance really about him whatsoever. Um, I thought he was bland as a person and, and, you know, really fucking, I just, I don't know. But anyway, what happened was he goes in against, uh, gay guard and, you know, he took, I, he took Gagar down, but Gagar got right back up, dude. And, um, you know, they say he's calm, and he you, he really is, man. Like, you, if you saw him in that fight, like, he just shows no emotion. He has a poker face on the entire time. So Wyman takes him down. He springs right back up, calm, the whole time, breathing, calm. And I, lo- I love to see it. And, uh... You know, I, I th- what was it, the second round? I don't remember. But Wyman goes for a takedown, and uh, Gagar just j- drops this fucking knee, dude. And, it, you know, it was a good knee, man. But Mergliata, like, Wyman was putting, this is this was the rule part. Wyman was purposely putting his hands on the ground so he couldn't be kneed in the face. The rule was changed. Now, Dan Mergliata, being a veteran of the sport, a veteran of MMA refing, he saw that and said, oh, illegal me. That was illegal. You have five minutes to recover now. And, you know, Wyman was like, okay, you know, and he like laid down on the ground and was like, oh, oh, like, you know, like he didn't want to fight, like call the fight. So I win. And. You know, I, I guess one of the guys were watching a replay. I think it was Big John that he talked to, Big John McCarthy, another veteran referee, and said, dude, nah, because it's refs like Big John who were tired of seeing that shit, fighters putting their hands on the ground and getting kneed in the face and trying to call foul. He was like, them knees were fucking legal. And Mergliata's like, oh, okay, you know, he didn't, you know, he might not have had the right angle to see it, but Big John probably watched a replay or whatever. And then he's like, yo, why been, and I'm okay with this. Yo, Weidman, they actually were illegal. I think they should have started them back from the same position that they were in, uh, as Joe Rogan said. But this is my view on how it all went down. When Gegard kneed him in the face and and Mergliata said, Hey, Weidman, you got, you know, five minutes to recover. Weidman rolled around on the ground, holding his head, trying to sell the fact that those illegal knees, you know, basically made him unfit to fight. So the doctor said, okay, you're unfit to fight, but the knees were legal. Gay guard wins. And that is totally fucking fine. Chris Weidman, you're a pussy. You shouldn't have, and, and and God bless you, dude. I mean, I you know, God bless the guy. But that was a pussy move, dude. That was a real pussy move. And if you would have kept fighting, you know, the coach said he would have kept fighting. He got need in the face, man. He got need in the face, and you know, yeah, okay, he would have kept fighting if Dan Mergliata didn't say they were legal. But then once the, you know. If you're sitting there holding your face, man, like that knee blasted him, dude. And and it doesn't matter if he would have kept fighting because the fight probably still would have went the same way. He got knee in the face pretty damn good. so And that's two in a row for him. So I don't want to hear shit about that, man. Congratulations, Gegard Masazi. Uh, congratulations, even DC. I hate DC. Oh, God bless you, DC, but you get on my damn nerves. Um, yeah, especially that towel move that was dirty. But... You know, that, that, all that, uh, you know, that entire sequence there was, was all Musazi and that was incredible. Um, 
Wyman didn't really mount much offense, but either way, uh, you know, and CCSIZ, what's up, bro? Uh, I know you was trying to see who I got tonight. I'm going to go with Wilson Hayes. Um, I think if anybody's got, a, you know, he's different. Uh, I feel like Hayes is different than Benavidez. He's different than uh, uh, Bagatinov and, and, and all these fools that, uh, that, uh, Johnson's beaten already. I mean, you know, just just here Formiga and and a couple of guys were pretty good, but they're they're all like you know, I feel like smaller than Hayes. Hayes is a big guy for for a uh, flyweight, and he still ends up making the weight and and he hits pretty hard. He's quick. He's explosive. He's strong. He'll, you know, he can wrestle. He can do jujitsu. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Hayes, man. Be, mostly because I always pick who I want to win. And I don't really like Demetrius Johnson for some reason. Uh, it's it's nothing against him. He's just got like a weird voice, and uh, there's a lot of fighters. I just I pick at fighters, man, and I guess it's because I just want to fight them uh, myself. You know what I mean? This guy's like 125 pounds. He weighs like as much as my thigh. Um, even though I'm just kidding, Demetrius Johnson would kick my ass. But I'm always like that. Uh, I don't know. I just I. I see fighters and I'm like, I don't like him and I want that guy to win against him. I don't know. It's a, it's a bias. So I just want to let everybody know that all of my opinions are totally biased and I don't give a shit because that's what you're here for. So I just want to say shout out CCSIZ, Charlie, Charlie, Sierra, Indigo Zebra on YouTube. Check him out. Sub him. Subscribe to him. Subscribe to me. Check out Kathy Dixon in parentheses is match pets. And that's on Facebook. If you lose your animal anywhere in the U.S., Facebook her, and she would, you know, hopefully be able to find it in a shelter. She's pretty damn good at it all across the United States. And, um, you know, hopefully one day we'll be able to stop all animal shelters from killing animals. There's no need to kill animals. Uh, the, the, the animals are here because, you know, the good Lord put them here before us so that we can uh, can eat and, and you know... <gasps> have them help us work, you know, now you got all your machines, so the animals aren't good enough anymore, no, no, the animals are here for that, but anyway, we're not going to get into that on this video, it's your boy Whip, y'all have a good one, I will be back, hopefully tomorrow, for the uh, breakdowns of the fights tonight, uh, we got Roy Nelson too, I forget who he's even fighting, I think he's fighting tomorrow, but uh, if so, I forget the card, but if so, I'm picking big country all day, it's your boy Whip. Peace.